It's becoming increasingly clear that hydropower has a vital role to play if the world is going to meet the climate targets set as part of the Paris Agreement. Sarawak Energy has committed to playing its part through sustainable hydropower, but also through the development of green hydrogen. We've been finding out about the technologies it's funding. Sarawak is a Malaysian state on Borneo. The capital Kuching is a bustling city set on the Sarawak River. It's one of the most beautiful parts of the world, known for the rugged, dense rainforest, protected parkland with amazing wildlife. Sarawak has an abundance of natural resources that have been harnessed to light up the state using predominantly renewable hydropower. We aim to be the regional powerhouse and the leader of uh, green energy in the region. And I think the combination of hydropower and solar is a very powerful combination. We can become the battery of uh, Southeast Asia, actually, by sharing our renewable energy uh, sources to our neighbours. Sarawak Energy has decarbonized its power system by 68% since it shifted its focus to renewable hydropower in 2010. It's also committed to the United Nations Global Compact to encourage businesses to adopt sustainable and socially responsible policies. We are the first corporation in Malaysia to uh, sign to 1.5 degree C commitment. It's a voluntary commitment by us and we need to commit to our targets uh, and then uh, we need to monitor it, uh, how we're going to achieve it by 2030. A major UN scientific report has warned human activity is changing the climate. Companies need to act fast. Sarawak is focusing on new clean energies, including green hydrogen. So how do you make green hydrogen? Hydrogen is produced by a process known as electrolysis. An electrical current is used to separate hydrogen from oxygen in the water. If the electricity used in the process comes from renewable sources such as hydro, then the hydrogen is green. Sarawak's hydrogen production plant and refueling station at Kaching produces enough green hydrogen to power up to five fuel cell buses and 10 fuel cell cars per day, all with zero carbon emissions. It's a small beginning. Producing green hydrogen is expensive, so you need to scale up. If we can scale it up, and uh, then, uh, you know, part of that will be for export to countries like Japan and Korea and Taiwan. And then part of that will be used for uh, local transportation. And I think then we can push the cost down to a level where it can be very competitive uh, compared with international combustion engine. Three million people live here. A quarter live in mountainous areas, some very remote. The government's strategy aims to light up the whole state by 2025. Currently, while its cities are fully electrified, 3% of the rural population remains to be so. The plan is to extend the grid where possible and to deploy off-grid renewable schemes to the most remote areas. We hope that uh, by 2023, we'll be able to supply all renewable hydropower to all uh, places in the state. You know? And for the remote areas, we will be using uh, solar and uh, mi micro hydro to supply power to these people. And we are hoping to achieve 100% electrification of the state uh, before 2025. Bukundam is one of the highest concrete-filled rock-faced dams in the world. Sarawak Energy also operates Batang Aie and Murum and is building Bale downstream. If not managed, building huge hydro infrastructures risks damaging the environment and communities. The Hydropower Sustainability Assessment Protocol gives companies a full view of the impact of projects. We uh, adopt the protocol, uh, the HSAP, 26 topics stretch from technical economics, financial, technical, and then uh, social and environment as well. We need to look at a holistic perspective. Joan is an environmental scientist. She's part of an assessment team trained at the International Hydropower Association Sustainability Academy. Now it's more than 20 people in the team. So we were uh, set up in 2014. We were proactively trying to manage our risks and ensure that we continue to comply with the international good and best practices. So uh, at that time, we tried to establish ourselves as a renewable hydropower specialist. The aim is to become the sustainable battery of Southeast Asia. I grew up in, in Sarawak and we you know we are blessed with uh, you know green forests and 
clean air and you know great environment and you know i would like to see the same for my children and my grandchildren as well